It's late morning and time for an early lunch at the Institute for Food Research. But these scientists aren't heading into the cafeteria or the office kitchen. They're going into the lab. Here in Norwich, England, Richard Fox and Dr. Martin Wickham have built what is likely the world's most sophisticated artificial stomach. Not only does the model gut, as they call it, digest food in the proper quantities of enzymes and acids, it also mimics the physical motion, the mixing and shearing that occurs inside the stomach. The gut cost about a million pounds to design and construct, but money wasn't enough. Fox and Wickham first had to understand what goes on in a human stomach. The scientists took MRI scans of volunteers while they ate and digested their food, and then used the data to make a mechanical model. Right, it's had its dinner. Well, it smells quite nice, this. Mm. Chicken and vegetable. The machine is probably the closest you can get to the workings of the stomach without sticking a tube down someone's throat. After the scientists program the meal into the model, the machine regulates the amount of acids and enzymes added. Okay. So, what you saw go in the soup and what you get coming out of the stomach, this is gastrically processed plus enzymes plus acid. But because it's the first sub out, it won't have a lot of acid and enzyme in it. Uh, so, as the, as the process continues, more and more acid and enzymes are going to be added. So there, there are two main parts of the stomach. There's the, the main body of the stomach, which is the top part of this uh, model. And there's the antrum, which is the lower part. Of it. The upper part uh, is where we put the food. And uh, if you look carefully at the, uh, the blue envelope, you will see it's, it should be it's slightly squashed. But mm -hmm. what we do is this is a hot water bath. And we, we regulate the pressure in here so we can squeeze it and relax it. If it's squeezing, it's squeezing very gently. I yeah. can't even see it. Well, it's because it's, got, it's on a cycle. It's about to three times a minute is very gentle. Yeah. From here, the food makes its way to the lower part of the stomach, the antrum. The barrel which fits inside that barrel, and then there's a piston which fits inside there. As the food moves up and down inside the barrels, it's sheared by a little plastic disc. Fox and Wickham have developed a variety of discs to simulate different types of processing, from large models for adults to softer plates that mimic the way a stomach digests bread. Because we can take, collect a sample every time the stomach processes, we can collect a series of temporal gastric mm -hmm. samples, each of which has a different gastric processing. Based on the composition of each sample, the scientists can deduce how the small intestine might absorb the nutrients. They don't have a small intestine simulator yet, but they're thinking about it. This is only, we take this material, we then put it into a simulated small intestinal digestion. Oh, okay. And we wouldn't put it in for 13 hours because from leaving the stomach to leaving the small intestine, well, six hours maximum. Yeah. Um, you don't have a large bowel. We do have a large bowel, yes, yeah. but not here or in the other building. <laughs> <laughs> so can it's, you produce poop, I guess? Is the we problem. can, yes. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we can produce uh, uh, not, not dewater poo. Uh, basically, it'll be the fecal slurry. Yeah, okay. Uh, Yes, we can produce those, and we do produce those. And is it pretty close to...? It smells pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> Still, it has its limitations. Uh, we haven't actually got this stage got a chewing unit, but uh, we're working with uh, various groups. Dentition is very important in terms of the delivery of nutrients to the rates of gastric empty. So how well you chew your food is important. Really? As your granny told you. <laughs> no kidding. Your stomach doesn't just empty block, it empties pieces as well. Right, right. So the structure is quite important. For now, the artificial gut spends most of its time hired out to companies hoping to engineer foods that control appetite, because obesity is a burgeoning problem in the UK. And the scientists also hope pharmaceutical companies will use their invention to refine drug delivery. The digestion, Falk says, is exactly the same. It's an average tum, uh, but we can we can change the tum, we can change the characteristics. So if you don't want to add acid, for example, uh, or you were going to add too much acid, you can control that. A few minutes later, the beaker is almost filled. Oh, a bit of carrot. 
Yeah. Yes. I find the carriage is breaking up quite nicely. That's it. It's, 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 it's done. It's done a full cycle. Okay, yeah. so you've got 400 mil. For Spectrum Online, this is Rob Mandelman.